was good you know sub gang it's your boy back in with the video y'all already know if y'all new to the channel subscribe you know smash that shit y'all already know but anyways today's video is a diy conversion from mountain bike to bmx uh one of the subscribers noel thank you man for you know giving your idea and here we are we're doing it so thank you again if anybody else has ideas you already know leave them down below but let's get started with the video well my bike i got from walmart so we're going to walmart right now i mean you could get any bike just make sure the bike you know frame is nice but my bike is mongoose um make sure you put mongoose bike hot shot because it won't pop up but that's it right there yeah well the only reason i say get the bike you want because usually if you get like the forks their suspension it might not look good or it might not be the same but you want solid forks like this you know it looks like bmx good bike just saying if you're building one of these it's gonna be probably more than you buying like a big ripper or something so i suggest you just buy use a big ripper but if you want to try this you know and be unique like me you know go ahead Next thing we out to Amazon. Yeah, right now let's get started with the handlebars and stems. So let's get a stem. Best one to get is gonna be the Zoom something. I forgot, but that's the one I got. And there it is. And make sure you check your size um, of the stem before you order a different one. But well, this is the one that suits that bike. So next thing is handlebars oh no 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 let's get grips first odi grips yeah right now best grips out here they're not even sponsor me or anything i'm just being honest best grips i'm gonna get them a red add them to the cart next um handlebars yes um you get whatever you want the long ones the bigger ones the round ones i like these personally so any color you want you want so i'm gonna just get the chrome ones at the cart next thing are brakes so should we get brake cable definitely necessary so they come in different packs but it doesn't really matter whatever you get you can get even color ones if you want i'm just get black ones so i'm gonna get these right here those then get some brake pads so get some cool stops because they're the best and as you can see they have a lot of colors i'm just get the white ones they look nice but yeah we just add these they have a few colors but white is better let's get next we need is brake lever and brake arms so pro max you already know they're the best I mean i like them the best but they're better at getting kits it's a better deal so you get left and right front and rear but i use the rear only but yeah add these these are nice and it comes with brakes so you don't have to get the cool stops if you don't want but i prefer cool stops next we need some bike pedals so get those I mean, the one that come on the bike is good, but I mean, it's always good to get, you know, better ones. So these are the best ones. I mean, they hurt, but you don't have to get expensive ones. You could get anything really, but they're nice. See, and they come in a lot of colors. So we're going to get these at the cart. Another thing you need, I mean, not really need is, you know, seat post. It's not really needed, but, you know, maybe you need upgrades from the one that comes with the bike. Because I know it's going to come cheap, but this is the best right here. Um, make sure you pull out your seat post and check your size because there's many different sizes. As you can see, uh, my size is uh, 25.4, so we're going to get this one. And, yeah, you guys keep searching that up. Next thing you need is the seat. So, obviously, we're getting SC seat. Here we go red blue black i like the black one because it doesn't get dirty red one gets too dirty blue one same thing get the black one that's a cart and yeah all right well here comes the hard part which is finding rims so you already know bmx rims 29 inch are really hard to find but 
I mean, usually you can find them on let go, but I don't see any here. There is some, but it's not BMX rim, so. But honestly, I would, how I got mine, I got found a friend. He had some frame rims, which frame is a good brand too, so you can search that up and look for them. Or if not, you could also go on Facebook and go to the market and look for rims. But again, rims are not really necessary, so not something you need. But I mean, it's still a conversion, so we gotta convert. So we're gonna search up freewheel. So we could change from a uh, seven speed to a uh, one single speed. So look for that. They have a lot, I'm gonna just click on this one. Uh, make sure you have the same amount of teeth. Like, like the front might be like 30 something. The back is like 14. So make sure you get the right gear ratio. But we're gonna take this one and you're gonna need tools to take it off. So let's find a removal tool. Uh, this one is for the free wheel with the seven speed. And then the other one would be this one for the one speed. Since you're changing the teeth, you're gonna need a new chain. So there's a bike chain. And we get this one because these are the best, the Z on them. Uh, they have many colors i'm just get silver so that and you need a chain breaker because you you need a lot of tools for bikes so second one ten dollars not bad and yeah uh also to customize what else do we need to customize i mean these are things you really don't necessarily need but if you want it to look like bmx yeah. So I'll get some spoke skins, make it look nice. Uh, I'm gonna just get red ones, I guess. I mean, you can get whatever color you want. Also, other customized like stickers, but you know, I'm not gonna add that in here. Um, you guys could search up your own, but get those like big packs that they have. But um, yep. So, oh yeah, we need tubes. So let's get that 29 inch tube. Doesn't really matter. It's all the same shit. Get some tubes. You only need two of those. So yeah. Next thing you need is bike tire, 29 inch. Do not get maxes. They will not fit in the bike. I'm talking about, I mean, I don't know. If you guys find a different bike but it would not fit you need round ones that are you know a little compact so these probably would fit so add those to cart and so here's a total 373 with 13 cents i don't know is it worth it for you guys i mean for me it was because it's my custom i'm proud of it and yeah there's your video guys i hope you guys enjoyed like comment subscribe all that remember comment new ideas let me know and i'll try to make it happen